guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I make sunflower seed pesto crackers. Uh, I'm not sure where the original recipe came from, um, but this is the one that I, I use. It's quick and simple, um, pretty easy to make, though I hear a few people say that theirs don't turn out like mine, so I thought I would just do a quick video and show you exactly what I do to make my crackers. I just use a small food processor to grind my sunflower seeds. So all I'm gonna do here is just take off my cover. I have one cup of sunflower seeds. Uh, these are unroasted, unsalted, they're the raw. And here's where it's gonna get noisy. So I ground, I grind these for quite some time till they form a pretty, you know, smooth powder. Probably the longest part of the whole recipe. For me, when I see it to start to stick to the sides, then I, I know that it's starting to be the consistency that I want. I think just a little bit longer. just a little bit yet. If they're too chunky, I just, it seems that they don't hold together as nicely. All right, I think we'll go with that. So I don't know if you can see that. So it's pretty fine. There's a couple chunks in there. And then all I'm gonna do then is, I'm just gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I have um, two tablespoons of coconut flour and then um, a little bit of baking powder and I just put that in the same container. So I have that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I like to mix that in. So just put the cover back on and go ahead and mix that up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese. Feel free to play with the different types of cheeses, guys. It's pretty versatile, you can use different types. I happen to use the um, cheddar in this one, that's what I had, uh, mozzarella works well too. And then um, some Parmesan Asiago Romano cheese. So I'm gonna put all the cheese in. that up so that's pretty fine and then we have three tablespoons of cold butter we'll mix them in and again we'll go ahead and put the cover back on mix it back up that butter got mixed in there. I'm gonna take a fork and just check that out. Make sure that that butter is all chopped up in there. So right now that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. So it's pretty clumpy. And then the last thing that I'm gonna add is two tablespoons of pesto. Uh, pesto is super easy to make. If you have a favorite recipe, feel free to just use that. Um, I do like to make my own, but when in a pinch, I do buy the classical pesto sauce. That's fine too. So then we're just gonna put that right on in there. And then we'll again 
put the top back on, mix it all together. Sometimes you have to um, fold that in there a little bit. That's, that's okay to get that pesto worked in. It's getting kind of sticky. I'm going to just go ahead and take the blade out. Just mix that up the rest of the way. So it should be pretty sticky, guys. If it's really moist, then um, the crackers probably won't turn out. They won't get nice and crisp. So you want it so it's sticky, but not, you know, really wet. Okay, so then after you get that pesto mixed in there, um, we're gonna just uh, roll out a piece of parchment paper. So I use two pieces. I hate cleaning up mess and this uh, seems to work well for me. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this dough and we're going to put that onto the parchment paper. So you can see it forms a pretty good sized ball. And it is pretty sticky, so I can pick that up and pat it and form it. Um, and then I just smoosh that down in the center. And the key to getting them crispy is to try and make sure you get them a nice even consistency as far as thickness goes. So then what I do is I take another piece of parchment paper and I put it over the top. I think um, like them silicone mats would work really well for this as well. Um, you probably wouldn't have things sliding all over. Uh, and then we just roll it. And then I take my, my rolling pin and roll them out. And this direction, and then I do just turn the paper, try and maneuver. I'm not a professional chef, guys. And get that as even as possible. My husband asks me when I would like to get a new rolling pin, and uh, this is actually one that I remember my grandma baking with. All right, so the more you take your time, guys, and the more even you can roll this out, the better results. Yeah, I know it takes a little bit more time, but. It'll be worth it when your crackers are done, I promise. All right. And then I'll just take a little peek. And voila, that looks pretty good. And then, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I just take a pizza cutter and I score it. Uh, I just run it across and score it. Nothing too fancy. And then the other way. So this just helps to break them apart once they come out of the oven. And that's it guys so now they're ready for the oven and I put them on parchment paper so then all I'm going to do is just slide them onto a cookie sheet so it looks just like that nothing too fancy yes some of these upper edges will get a little bit more crisp but that's all right not perfect but it'll work all right, so I'm gonna put them in the oven and when they're done, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, guys, so the crackers came out of the oven. So I bake them at 325 degrees for, I don't know, it's probably like 25, 25 minutes or so until they're kind of brown. They look a little uneven, but they're okay. Uh, then I'm gonna take my pizza cutter again and where I've scored them, I'm gonna just go ahead and follow that same line.
Now, everybody's oven temperatures will vary. I have a, just a standard oven. I don't have a convection oven. Oh, that was hot. Right. I should put the mitt on, right? Okay. And you should be able to kind of hear how crunchy they are, guys. in a container I would say for a couple days they don't ever last that long around my house but um, so then what I do is I just break them apart guys and let them kind of cool uh, they are a little bit softer cracker you know so if you're gonna go and use them for a heavy cheese dip um, you might want to spread the dip on the cracker versus dipping the cracker in the spread so I just go ahead and break them out apart and there you have it so there's the coconut flour um, sunflower seed pesto crackers I hope this video has helped you and um, yeah, that's it I will attach the recipe to the comment section enjoy <laughs>